realize it sounds absurd, but here we go. Thought I might give it a shot to say thank you for all you've done. I was aware of Sue a long time before we properly met. She lived on the south side like me, and I sometimes saw her rolling around Lake Tuggeranong with friends. I was a member of Women with Disabilities Australia and knew she was too. I occasionally saw her at the office where I used to work when she'd come in for meetings with people. She was on stage at one of my uni graduations as she was a member of the Governing Council of the University of Canberra and had asked to attend the graduation of a student with a disability. I didn't really know Sue then, but any time I saw her she smiled and said hello and I had that sense I always do when I meet someone else in a wheelchair that we share an experience, have something in common. I hadn't had that experience much throughout my life. I moved in able-bodied circles and was often the only person in the room with a visible disability. That was fine by me most of the time until one day it wasn't. A uni placement had me questioning the ways disability was understood and tapped into some grief and anger I didn't really know what to do with. I decided I needed to get more involved in disability advocacy and find a mentor. I immediately thought of Sue and the very next week I saw an ad calling for women with disabilities to join the newly formed Women with Disabilities ACT board where Sue was chair. I applied and soon found myself part of a small group of wonderful women with disabilities. I'd been on the board about six months when Sue had a health scare She was unsure what might happen and privately asked me if I'd take on the chair role if she couldn't continue. I said yes, but hoped she wouldn't need me to. Time went by, Sue recovered, and I thought that was that, but Sue brought it up again. I haven't forgotten what I asked you, she said. I need to think about the future of WIDACT, and I think it'd be wonderful for us to have a chair who's in the workforce. You'll be good and I'll be here to help you if you need it. I was reluctant, mostly because I was scared. I didn't know how I would step into Sue's enormous shoes. Sue persisted though, gently encouraging and persuading me to step out of my comfort zone and nominate for the position as we rolled around Lake Burley Griffin together. Her confidence meant so much to me and I decided to be brave and say yes. I'm so glad I got to say that yes to Sue a few days before she died. It's been hard, I'm not going to lie, and I miss Sue every day. Her wisdom, kindness, intelligence, sense of humour and zest for life. I learnt when my dad died suddenly, though, that people never truly leave us. I'm keeping my ears, eyes and heart open, knowing Sue isn't far away. With all you did and everything you stood for, we saw your soul beamed like sunshine on a cloudy day.